Welcome back, everyone. I did a little, little bale picking up ring, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we have to get our new barn ready. I'm a little concerned about one thing. I didn't think about it. Didn't think about it much. I'm not sure if our new barn takes bales directly or if I need to shred them. So that could be an issue. But we'll have to test it. And I'm not quite sure how I want to do that. I'm trying to get all this ready. Um, yeah, you know what? Why don't I just go get one bale? I want to see if it'll, if it'll sit. I still haven't picked up my telehandler, so I'm going to cheese it and just grab it by hand. I really would like to get that. I don't want to do... I don't really want to do stuff by hand. I'd rather, you know, do it the right way, but sometimes... Sometimes I just... Yeah, anyways. How are you guys doing today? Been doing a lot of thinking about this map and how things are going to progress. And one thing that's I think has become obvious is I need a lot more land sooner than later. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, excellent. So I think I can come through here. I'm not sure about that. The arm on that. Uh... Ooh, that might be a problem. Or space space wise. The loader arm, it, it, it goes out when when I go try to unload. That might be causing a big mess. Okay, I think we need to get that telehandler sorted out so I can just load those in from outside, maybe. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, I want to paint the ground a little bit first. Let's... Uh, Let's set up a little bit of yard, yard, I guess, around here. What am I gonna do? I got dirt over there. Probably, I like, I like kind of stick into one. So we're gonna come out here, clean all this up here because this is where I'm gonna put the bales. Let me turn around here. Make sure I get everything. Yeah, and then we'll we'll figure out, you know, we'll, we'll clean it up after. I just want to do this before I put down a pile of bales. Okay. Probably missed a spot under there somewhere. There we go. Oh, there's a piece of tree too. All right, let's get in nice and tight to the building. Tighter than that. Much tighter than that. There we go. That should be pretty good. Right, pull up a bit more. And, uh, no, this pushes the truck forward. So if I want it here, I got to dump it here. That thing comes out inside that narrow pathway. That's not going to work. So I'm going to have to. Yeah, I really need to get a telehandler so I can load. Load all my bales. Why is it sliding now? Wasn't doing it at the BGA. Maybe because they're wrapped. It's OK. It's going to leave me room for two, I guess. All right, let's go grab up the rest of them. Yeah, that actually turns out pretty good. I was trying to think about fueling that BGA. How are we going to fuel that thing? Um, I can keep picking up silage bales, or I can make bulk bulk silage somehow. Um, thinking we're going to have to get into the corn chopping business. 
And in order to do that, I would like to have some land close to the BGA so I don't have to cart so far. We're going to get to work on this field here a little bit in a bit. I'm going to expand it out a bit. So next purchases telehandler and a piece of land and then we're going to get more stones. We're going to get um, we're going to get more grass, more stones. And then eventually we'll put in corn. We'll get a we'll get a forage harvester. We'll create we'll create tons tons of silage. Yeah, I think that's the way we're gonna go with this. That's gonna be a big money maker for us. Um, the the cow um, part of the business is gonna take a while to mature enough that uh, we're gonna start making money on it. Right now, it's gonna be a big money sink, so we need to be able to fund that properly. It's gonna be a huge money sink up front. I have made one change um, to this series, this map. I've actually gone and removed the enhanced animal um, system. And I'll explain why in a second. Um, and I did it on uh, Comlands as well. It's gone from Comlands. And, uh, but I, I'm keeping it on uh, the white farm. Why is that? Okay, I need that in transport mode. Why is that not? Oh, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? Uh oh, what did I do? Okay, apparently I decided to start unloading early. Well, this is not the way you're supposed to do it. Okay, let me just get this started here. Okay. In theory, this should go right up against it and start pushing me. No, it's not pushing me. Okay. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. One bale, of course, is going to not cooperate. All right, enhance this um, enhanced animal system. So, a couple of things. Um, one, I really like it. I, I really like the mod. The concept is great. Um, the realism factor is is pretty good. Get rid of this. And so, I've been trying to use it more and more. I had it on all three series running. Um, but a couple of things happened. And sorry, I'm, I'm kind of trying to figure out what I'm doing next here. A um, couple of things happened with with the mods. Um, in, in a situation last week um, where I I sat down, I went through Mod Hub, I tried to find a whole bunch of new mods, tried to fill some gaps that maybe I wanted, uh, not only for existing series but a future series coming up, and I ran into a bunch of stuff that I wanted to load, including some maps and stuff like that. Anyways, long story short, I, I added a bunch of mods and all of a sudden I could not start Farming Simulator at all. At all. It was um, stuck at the initial loading, not even loading a map, like at the initial loading. And I was trying to figure out what was going on. Well, I'm talking about that. Let me get this going here. Um, I do want... Okay, so I needed to get this field plowed. Uh, we'll have to redrill it, which is fine. I don't mind. Um, and I need the stones anyway, so... 
So I'm going to start by re-drilling it, then I'm actually going to add the piece of land. I'm going to start by replowing it, and then I'm going to add the piece of land in there. Let's get that started, and I'll keep babbling in a minute. Sorry, I'm kind of squirreling a lot here. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. That should be good. It's going to take a while. All right. Oh, might struggle a bit. That's another thing we're going to need to do is upgrade a tractor. We need more power. Okay. Um, anyways, long story short, after I added those mods, I, I started having a lot of problems. And uh, ultimately what it came down to was there was something that I, I downloaded that was conflicting with the animal system. And, you know, you could easily, I guess just jump right away and blame the new mod I downloaded, but um, I started removing mods and um, and then I would remove one, test it, um, and then finally I, I did get it to load, so I, so, um, I re-added the stuff that, I don't know if I'm making sense, I re-added the stuff that was um, uh, that I had, you know, removed before, and then all of a sudden it didn't work again. So it wasn't one mod, it was more than one mod um, that was causing the problem. So I disabled animal system and everything loaded perfectly fine. So I don't, really don't know the, the source um, of the problem, but um, I decided, you know what, if there's going to be multiple conflicts, um, I'll just do without, I'll just do without. So. There we go. Uh, white, the white farm um, series is going to be wrapping up soon, so I didn't bother making the change, but here I have. Well, I'll explain that in a bit more in a second. First of all, I need to, I need to get some more seed. Okay, so I got a problem. I keep having to buy pallets and bags of seed and whatnot, and I'm getting kind of tired of it. So, um... I'm not quite ready to start producing my own stuff. So I think what I'll do is I'll buy a multi... I just did that on White Farm too. Seems cheesy. Um, uh, you know what? Let's just, let's just buy. I got a huge field to do. That's another thing I need is a bigger drill. So, um... Somebody mentioned to me that there's more value in buying by big bags than there is um, than there is buying the pallets. So for 800 bucks, I can buy a thousand liters. Let's just check that. Nine. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. That is correct. Good to know. I never really noticed before. Never really paid attention. I've got a bit of money. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to order eight bags of each and I'll be good for a little while. Then I'll figure out some way. I got to try to figure out how to start making my own fertilizers and we're going to need a ton of it. So, I'm, uh, yeah, I'll have to figure that out. That's fairly cheap. Do that. And then we need some fertilizer. That's going to be a quite a bit more, but that's okay. We need it. So there we go. Um, um, oh, they're at the back now. Jeez, I forgot, forgot that I'd switched my thing way back there. So I'm going to get this going because this is going to take a really long time with this drill. I can't. Well, I can afford a new drill, maybe, but um, I really not not going to. Not going to do that. I'll try to put these away somewhere. I probably need to bring some out to the field with me as well. Yeah, I'm not efficient yet. I'm not properly set up. Okay. 
Got a load of wood there. We'll sell that in a bit. We've got some wood products. I learned quite a few things from the comments um, this week. Uh, on this map here, I was wondering why... Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? Jeez, I'm so distracted today. Um, I was wondering why I was getting these $1 urges. Um, like for overnight. And somebody brought it up, uh, which makes total sense. Um, bottom line is, uh, I had a worker uh, working overnight, uh, meaning, you know, they were working and then um, I rested while they were working. And so each hour, got a, a, oh no, oh yeah, I got a couple of problems here, guys. This is going to go over. Oh no. Okay, well... That's a bit of a problem. Might have to change my bridge. Somebody mentioned that they just raised raised it. But I kind of want to keep the, the stream running. I think there's a uh, one of those things you can chop down somewhere that uh, actually removes that creek completely. So it's all flat. But I like it. I'm keeping it. I think this bridge here is quite a bit wider. Or wide enough anyway. Oh, barely. I need a, oh boy. I need a folding um, speed drill. We need money and tons of it. The land here I don't think is super expensive. I think it's uh, about 85, I think, per, per plot. So I can probably afford one if I go sell some wood. All right, so what do we got here? We got a field. Stones are gone. And I actually don't know what I'm putting in here. Um, I need straw. Oh my goodness, it's going to take forever with this thing. Oh, uh, what am I doing? Look at the size of this field. This uh, this needs to change real fast. Okay, let's have a look for a second. Uh, first of all, let's look at our tractor. So this guy here is 170, which isn't great. This is 143. This is 85, but I'm told I can upgrade it to 150. Somebody mentioned that in the comments. Another thing I learned. That said, I don't really want a 150. I want bigger than that. So I don't think I'm going to waste money on that. Um, you know, this, I don't know. This might end up being our yard tractor over in the other area. I'm not sure. But we're going to need to look for deals. And that's not what I need. What I need is a seed drill. Um, and I'm currently at... 5.6 meters, I think. Where is it? Here it is. 5.2 meters. Ideally, if I can get into the 9, 10, that would be really good. But look at this. These costs, but also horsepower requirements. So, I don't, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do here. I think I'm going to have to tough it out. I think I'm going to have to tough it out. This is nice, but again, I need to get a 300 plus tractor soon. What's this? 85 plus 85, a tandem drill, 83,000. What are the capacities on that? That's 2,000 each, and with fertilizer tanks, it's not going to put a lot of fertilizer. So I need 170 for this kit. Um, that will give me... 4.5 times 2, I think, so 9 meters. It's pricey, though. Well, for this. Um, this is 270 as well. That's 12 meters, and it does not fertilize, but it does have a decent capacity for seed. I don't think I've ever used this before. 
Whoa, look at the price. Never mind. Never mind. What about this guy? Six. Capacity is part of the problem, right? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't really give this much thought. Rapid for six. Yeah, I don't really want to invest in six if I have 5.2, right? It's not much of an upgrade. Okay, we're going to tough it out with this, I think. Um, I need straw. Uh, what do I want? I think I'll do... I think I'll do... What? What is it? February... Uh, I think I'll do oats. Yeah, I think I'll do oats. Set up a course. This is going to take forever. Uh, two headlands. We'll do two. Smooth for sure. Keep it, make it faster. Oh, look at that. And I'm going to have to run some product out here. So, okay. All right, may as well just get her done, right? All right, we'll keep an eye on it. I mean, it's pretty efficient for seed and fertilizer, but it's still huge. Okay, this is going okay. Have to come and get the stones, and we'll put grass. Uh, will we put grass here? Uh, another thing to think about. Wow, that, that field is really crooked. Okay, so, uh, cows. Cows. Here they are. Uh, productivity is 2%. I don't know why. Oh, I know why. Okay, so here's what happened. Um, well, they don't have food. Didn't I just give them food? Oh. Uh-oh. Um, geez, I got a problem, don't I? All right. All right. Let's uh, focus. I don't know how much hay I have left in the silo. So here's the thing with the enhanced animal system. And when you remove it, what happens? Um, so I found out that basically um, all the animals that are not adults, and I don't know exactly where that line is, uh, depends on the, the type of livestock maybe or whatever, but um, those are all, uh, if you remove the mod, it actually deletes all those animals uh, from your from your game. There we go. We still have quite a bit. Okay, we're good. Um, so what I did here in this particular case, which is a bit different than what happened on Comlands, and I'll, I'll explain that in that series, but um, on this one here, I did, uh, they were actually all adults, except... Um, actually, let me clarify. All, all female adults. Or all... Yeah, so the bulls, for example, um, got blown away. Like, there's no, there's no, the bull was gone. Um, so for the pigs, uh, for example, if I was doing this on White Farm, the pigs, all of the male pigs would be gone. Plus all of the not adult females. And then what you end up with is just pigs. Um, so on this series, basically what I went in and did was uh, when I removed it, I was down one cow, one, one bull. Um, so I actually just bought, you know, with the money in game, I bought a replacement and then just got another cow. So, so I've got... 10 cows. They're still going to reproduce. Oops, why is that not? There we go. Um, so I still have 10, 10 cows, basically. They're still going to reproduce. They're just cows. You know, they're not males, females, 
calves, all that stuff. It's just cows. So much more simplistic, much less realistic. Um, but um, no mod conflicts and that makes it a little bit easier anyway. They're kind of confusing a bit. Um, the stuff on, on the white farm. Okay. So, what's going on? What's going on? Um, all right. I want to look at... We can deliver some stuff. That's actually going pretty good clip. Um, all right. So, I want to look at the fields here. So, what I'm thinking... Um, because I want to start chopping uh, corn... Um, I have a lot of options. I want to buy this piece of land, but um, I wouldn't necessarily use all of this for corn. It's just not, you know, unless I cleared a lot of woods here and started working this way. So I think I need to go to a, a piece of land that is either already pretty open and big, or, uh, but this has, like, I'd have to build a bridge over here. Um, and then, which means I have to buy this one. So what I'm thinking I might do is buy this piece here. Um, geez, do I really want to do that? Or do I buy this one? Boom, right away, huge fields. And I can just mow the whole, the whole thing. Um, tons of, tons of grass, uh, for silage. Um, Tons of stones for for the um, gold production, and then I can put in a lot of corn. So maybe that's it. What is that? Seventy eight thousand. Somebody told me like, all these are eighty five, eighty five, eighty five. Somebody told me that the perimeter ones are a bit cheaper, and they're right. Seventy eight. Maybe this is our next purchase. Gonna be a lot of work. We really need bigger equipment too. So I can get to this no problem today for a couple of reasons. One, I have some wood ready to sell that will probably put me over this. But also I haven't collected my nugget yet. So while we're on that subject, why don't we do that? Uh, I'm told there are three nuggets in this area. I found one, it's up there. It's up there, I have to climb up. To get up there. Somebody told me that there's one over here. And I assume this is another one of those scenarios where there's a trigger somewhere. I have to find it. I don't know how to get in there to get that. I don't really don't want to swim in that either. <laughs> so we'll figure that out later. And there's supposed to be one down right by the gold production. So why don't we start with this one here? We have to climb up there, and I think you go around this way. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, so we're at 100 and 106. So I noticed this too. This burns methane. You can turn it off. This visual doesn't really do anything else. There's a lot, there's a few things like that, like this thing here. Turn it off, turn it on, off. Just the sound, kinda cool. What's this? I don't know what that is, why is that a, it looks like a button I need to press for something. So, okay. Alright, 106. So, here's what I think I should do. Should I buy the land first or go for a tractor first? I have tractors, I can do the work, it's just gonna be painful. If I buy the tractor, I don't have the land, so I can't do the work at all. So I'm gonna go for the land first. Uh, and I think we're gonna go for field 20 over here. What do you think? Eh, let's just do it. All right, so I'm left with 28,000. Let's jump back to the farm. This is going. Um, all right, so let's go sell the wood. Hmm. 
Now, tractor, uh, I don't know how much I'm going to need to spend. I don't need a fancy tractor, I just need a powerful one. So it can be an older, older tractor. I haven't really picked the theme, an equipment theme for this map yet. Uh, often what I do when I play is I will pick, you know, one brand and I'll try to buy a lot of that brand. I did a lot of Fent on No Man's Land. And um, previous series, you know, I did that. I haven't done it so much on recent series. I don't mind getting back to that. Might do a, maybe we'll try to do a kind of a case. Maybe a case on this map. Yeah, maybe that'll be it. I have to get there though. Right now I'm only buying <laughs> whatever I can find I can afford, so can't be too picky. We'll have a look and see if there are any cheap, big, powerful case tractors. And I don't necessarily need uh, even three point on the back. I just need to be able to have hydraulics and be able to pull seed drills. Um, so that gives us some flexibility. And I'm talking I'm about that piece of land. I'm talking about that piece of land. Look what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to, I, I'm autopiloting to that piece of land with my log, my, <laughs> my locks. What am I doing? Wow. Wow. Oh, hope I need a cup of coffee or something. Jeez, I was supposed to be going over to the train station. Oh, boy. Please forgive me for all my idiocy. There's a sawmill up there, too, but the train is always the best price. And I'm just driving through. That's okay. It's a beautiful day for a drive. I need to get the, um, I need to get that stuff mode. Since, uh, yeah, there are a new piece of land and I think there's like one tree on it. I gotta go cut that down. That one piece of land, I think we're gonna make it all for, for silage. We might use, can I use the big silage pit? Nah, uh, I think we'll just wrap. We have the equipment to wrap. I don't have a Ford wagon. I don't want to buy that right now. It is a beautiful day for a drive, though, so... Yeah, let's go wide on this here. I think I've got all the gold nuggets from this area. All right, stop, 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 stop. Okay, there's 22,000 there, so we've got 50. Instead of trying to go through those trees, I think I'm just going to back up here. Alright, so I'm going to drive over with the, uh, the mower. Long drive. Uh, we're only going to need it once over there, though, so that's not a big deal. 
right now we're kind of in the mode of making a, a ton of money. Oh, and I gotta refill my, uh, I have to refill the seed or fertilizer or both. We'll head over there in a second. I'm gonna put this away because I don't think we're gonna be doing woodwork for a little bit. Eventually we will, but I think I'll put this... Ooh, it just fits in there, doesn't it? We'll put this over here. Okay, I do like this shed. Um... This is the only flatbed trailer I have. Um, what do I need to do? So there's water in here. They need water, they probably need water. So I should have emptied that first. And we'll load up a couple of each seed and fertilizer. Maybe three of each. We'll head over. We'll load up the. Uh, we'll fill up the uh, the drill. And then we'll be in good shape. Let's go around the back here. Turn that off for a minute. I'm gonna super strength this because I don't have anything to pick this up with. Oh boy. Oh boy. There, we'll do three of each. Not really. Really. Not very good here. Come on. Stand up straight. There we go. Okay. Like three of each over there. I'm not sure how much I'll need. I wonder if I'll get lucky and I can um, load right while they're on the on the this thing. Then I could just leave them on there and drag them around whenever I want. Or I could get a seed tender, which would probably be a smart move. This seem a little top heavy though, the way that it's cornering right now. I think this grass is ready to go as well. There's no shortage of grass right now. What should we get done? Not a lot. We'll find out if we can load right from the truck by when we pull up if the lap opens. Oh, and the worker abandoned us. Yes. Oh, that's... Oh, that's too easy. Way too easy.
way, way too easy. Okay, I'm gonna leave this here for now. All right, next. Uh, since we are going to make silage with this, we need this grass header, which goes a lot faster. It's much wider. All right, it's gonna be a bit of a drive. And somebody point out um, that shed, that cow barn. So the straw is in the front, the uh, feed is in the back, and uh, there's a built-in manure which comes in the middle. It's difficult to get in there, so I'm going to probably need some kind of conveyor system to retrieve the manure. And we will want a a uh, pretty big uh, manure trailer so that I can bring it to the BGA. And slurry as well. Um, we're going to try to funnel a lot of that into the BGA. It's too bad that the horse play doesn't uh, play well with having the, the baler on, on here. That would be pretty epic. Let's see if I went to a fast baler. I think what we're going to do next... Um, we need a truck as well. I need to be able to cart uh, large amounts of methane and sell it at the best price. Uh, that little trailer is cute. The one that we bought for, uh, for the methane to get the gold production up and running, but that's really... It's little leagues. I need to get a huge methane tanker. This map is pretty much a go big or go home kind of kind of map. Even more so than No Man's Land. So we're we're, go, we're going big. We're going with big big goodies here as soon as we can afford it, obviously. Okay, so I'm gonna have to draw out a field. And we'll probably start right around here somewhere. Should probably get off off the field. Okay. Um Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see if we can do this. Try to leave a bit of a buffer, but not too much. And right about here, right about here, right about here, right about here. Eh, not perfect, but it'll do. Save, we'll call it CP1 again. Okay, um... Everything set properly. I'm going to create job, field work. Nope. Nope. Hang on, I'm not doing this right. Works better if I go through here. Okay, why is that not running? Do I have to be on the field more? There we go. There we go. Um, headlands. Ooh. We only really need two, I think. Maybe two. No bypass. I gotta run over and cut down any, any tree that might be in the way. I think there's only one down by the end. That looks good. Let's back up a bit here. All right, let's run down here real quick.
Get a little bit of a healthy jog. It's just this one tree right there. We don't like it. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, that's going to take a while. I'm going to let that go. Let's go check in on other stuff. This is moving along. It's actually not bad. We're probably well over a third done. Not more. Maybe even half. How's this going? So I think this is a 180 plow, 180 horsepower requirement, and we only have 175 on the tractor, so it's borderline, borderline acceptable. We're gonna need this thing in a minute though. We gotta head out to the field. Once we get all the grass done, get all the bales made, Gonna automate that if we can. I want to fix that little piece here too. Thanks me. Okay, where are we? How's this going? I was wondering how this would work going down this side here because I wasn't sure if there was fences and yeah, there is a fence. But I'm glad I left it out a little bit. This is going to be one huge cornfield. Well, huge. I mean, it's going to—it's not going to be huge by endgame standards, but I think we'll go really big with this map. Oh man! Couldn't cut it much closer. What the heck's going on here? Okay. Horse play is being silly. I got too close. Uh, let's have a look at our path here. Nice. We're on sharp. Shouldn't have done that. It's fine. Okay. This is moving well. It's going through seed faster than it does fertilizer. All right, so all my tractors, well, I think, no, this one's not, this one's not busy. Okay, so we got 50,000 right now. Um, let's look at what we have as far as product is concerned. So we've got basically 128,000 worth of methane. We have not quite a pallet of gold yet, so that's going to be, I guess that's a slow production, which is, you know, understandable. Um, so methane, all right, let's have a look at this. It's 128,000 sitting there. Now, um, let's look at the production itself. Okay, so we're all out of input. Um, we've got a fair amount of methane output. This gold is out of stones. Okay, so it doesn't go through methane very fast. It does go through stones very fast. So we've got a couple of options here. I'm told I can there's somewhere I can buy stones. So I think I'm going to go do that. Let's do that next. Let's get the trailer. We're going to go buy a load of stones. 
I actually don't know where I'm supposed to go to buy stones. I assume it's over there. In the distance. Actually, I should be able to see where I can buy them. In the, uh... Economy tab. We need a trailer. In the end, that may be the, the solution for stones. I mean, we can pick them off the field, but really aren't, you know, there's not a lot of them, right? Um, even a big field will only generate a small amount of stones. Let me get a few more trees in here on the property. The trailer is not very big either, so that's another it's another bit of issue. All right. Um, well, let's have a look before I drive foolishly again. Uh, stones. Where are stones? Road salt. Uh, maybe in here somewhere. There we go. Farmer's Market is where I can buy stones. It's actually pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. Let me tag that. I think I know where it is, but... Alright. Questioning. Right now I'm kind of questioning whether I should spend the money to upgrade the trailer to something bigger. Um, I can buy here? Yes, I can buy here. What can I buy? Hay, straw, snow. I can buy snow. Nice. Stones, pig food. So it's all kind of the... Oh no, you can buy everything here. All kind of the base game stuff. Okay, let's get going. That's got to be pretty heavy. Uh, I'm coming out through this way here. I think I'm going to cut right through here. Up we go. Oops, kind of aimed at the wrong direction here. I guess we can get the bailing started as well. Let's get these stones taken care of now. It's going this way. Somebody told me that there's another nugget close to here somewhere, which I won't collect this time, but we can look, right? Uh, there's 
Where could it be? Where could it be? I was told it was near the gold production. I don't see one. On the roof. Well, I guess we have a chore to do to try to find it. Over here, maybe? Yeah, we'll have to double check that one. So I tried to do the auto, you know, regular worker drive back. And one of the things that it doesn't always work, like it went right for this post, right? Last time, if you remember correctly. But if you do something like you're trying to get back, you're trying to get back home, right? So if I do something like um, create a job, uh, where's go to go to and then I go to here and then I can create another job to go to the farm once I get there and it breaks it up a bit and I'm pretty sure it's a completely straight line on a road it's gonna get to where I want it to right okay that's going well let's go get this filled up again so we're going through the seed about twice as fast as we're going through the fertilizer. A little bit more than that, actually. A little bit less than that, I should say. Alright. Glad I brought all this out here and just keep refilling. Probably gonna have to refill at least one more time, I think. Okay, that's that. This is done, kinda. I'm gonna fix that one little hole that's bugging me. So we're gonna allow create fields. This thing here. It's not a hole, it's just a little spot left over. Then I'm gonna run over here and we're gonna grab up some of this ground here. Uh, there we go. And we'll extend this field out the best best we can. We can probably grab up a little bit more, but we'll play it safe. It's going to be a little bit more worker friendly if I do it like this. As you can see on the west side, I kind of pushed my limit a little bit, went a little too close to the edge, I think. Try not to go over that. There we go. Good enough. Alright guys, I think that we're gonna I think we're gonna 
call it an episode. Um, it's a fair amount of manual work here left to be done. And then uh, we're going to keep drilling that field. I'll, I'll do some stuff off camera. Uh, complete, com continue filling that, uh, drilling that oat field. Get that knocked out. Then I'm going to get the baling started. Uh, I may do some of it. I may do a lot of it. I may do all of it. I'm not sure. Um, because we're going to have to get in there, pick up all the stones after. We're going to have to also um, put in a field with this little guy. So that's going to take quite a bit of time as well. So a lot of a lot of um, lo lengthy processes. Main, you know, main reason is that I just don't have big equipment to be able to do it quickly yet. So, so we got to tough it out, right? All right. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. If you are, please consider subscribing, comment, like, share, um, make funny noises at the at the screen. Whatever you feel like doing, it's all good. It's all good. And. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome day.